Hello. I didn't know you were here. I'm just off. Said I'd meet Steph. We're going to go to the police station, try and get an update. All right. Hope it goes okay. Thanks. Hey, what was that surprise you were going on about yesterday? Oh, uh, Rana's parents are going to invest in my new business, so I can put an offer in for some premises on Victoria Street. That's wonderful. That's brilliant. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's really generous of them, mm. isn't it? Yeah, so I'll carry on working at the bistro till the sale goes through, but after that, I'll be my own boss. You must be so excited. We are. <laughs> aren't we? Yeah. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> so, uh, how are things? Me and Ryan have decided to stay together, give it another go. Oh, right. Uh, well, it's just the way you were talking. Yeah, well, I've had time to think since then, and... We talk things through, so... Well, I'm pleased for you. So, you ready to come back to work? Yeah. Brilliant. Because I really need your help today. I've got something planned. There's one condition, though. Kate has to go. Uh, look, I, I appreciate it's going to be difficult. But, uh, no, it won't, because there is no way I'm working with her. See, if it was up to me, she'd be out of here, but... She's Michelle's cousin. You can see how I'm fixed. All right, I'll make it easy for you. I quit. Oh, Zidane, come on. Don't do this! Do you realise it's going to be a nightmare? Having to pretend to be a couple with your grump breathing down our necks. Don't worry, I'll sort something. <clears throat> come get your drink. No, this won't take long. We're glad you saw sense. This will benefit everyone in the long run. I can't believe you discuss this without even consulting me. You forfeited any rights when you did what you did. You should be grateful that your father's trying to protect you. <laughs> Protecting yourselves more like. Well, enough. You agree to this, so let's go on with it. You've uh, drawn up a contract. You'll see the sum we're proposing is enough to cover their deposit and the cost of renovation. And in return, you'll agree to stay together for at least a year as husband and wife. If the marriage dissolves before then, the money has to be paid back in full immediately. That all sounds fine. Good. Then you both need to sign at the bottom. Except for one thing. I need more money. And I thought you were a man of principle. You don't think what we're going through is bad enough that you have to squeeze more money out of us? It's not that. I've had to quit my job at the bistro. The girl Rana was seeing works there. I think you'll understand that makes it impossible for me to, which means I have no income till the new place is up and running, and that'll take months. So for this to work, I need another ten grand. We'll get the sum amended and back to you this afternoon. Great, and then we can sign it. All right, the stuff I need to do, so if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> we should go. So it's going to be like this forever, then? With you refusing to even look at me? Mum? You brought this on yourself. I should do business with you. It's been brilliant to see you again. I'm just sorry it's under these circumstances. Oh, no. Yeah, listen, I'm, I'm so glad Portugal's worked out for you. I wish I could persuade you to stay, though. Could do with you now. Zidane's quit. Quit? Why? Uh, I don't know what he didn't say. But I thought he was going to stay on until the sale went through. The sale? Oh, he didn't tell you. Rana's parents are helping him buy his own business. Uh, no. No, he neglected to mention that bit. Well, yeah, he did mention something to me, but I didn't think he was going to take him up on the offer. He did. Announced it this morning. Although Rana didn't seem too keen for some reason. It's not true, is it? You're not taking him up on their offer. Well, I deserve something out of all this. And what about Rana? Is she happy about it? All right, so you're just going to guilt trip her into it anyway? 
Oh, come on. This isn't the Z I know. Yeah, well, maybe the Z you know has changed. That's down to her, not me. Come in, come in. Let's have that cuppa. You've just missed Zidane. Uh, no, I was, uh, I was just talking with him outside, actually. Ah, so then you must know his good news. Yeah, I do, except I won't exactly say it was good news. Sorry? Oh, look, I feel awful doing this, but I know that Carl would want me to look out for him. He would, yes. So, come on, what's all this about? <sighs> Rana's been having an affair. What? Zidane knows, and Rana's parents know, which is what the offer of money's all about. They said they'll give Z the money on the condition that him and Rana stay together. Look, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to dump all this on you, but I just thought you could... But... <laughs> they seem so happy together, they're trying for a baby. It doesn't make sense. How could you do this to him? As if he hasn't been through enough. Well, I took her under my roof. I treated her like a daughter, and this is how she repays us. Well, she did come clean, I suppose, that summer. Well, if she's told him, it must be serious, not just a fling. Yeah. But then it's ridiculous for him to stay with her. And why is she agreeing to it? I don't know, how a guilt, I suppose. Who is it, do you know? Well, yeah, I do, but I don't really think that's Oh, me, come so. on! I'm going to find out anyway who. <sighs> it's Kate. Kate? You OK? Do I look OK? Leanne has just told me everything about you and Zidane. I see. You may well look ashamed. Like I did it on purpose. I know you must hate me, but I'm doing all I can to make it right. I'll be out of your life as soon as I can. And do you think this grubby little deal he struck up with your parents is going to make it right? Hush, hush money? To protect the good name of the family? Well, the, how can it be good after that? It's too late now. It's what's going to happen. Not if I have anything to do with it. Did you have a say in any of it? I felt so bad. I've just gone along with what makes people happy. You disappoint me. It's me who's caused all of this. It doesn't mean you have to roll over and let others use you as a bargaining chip. I can't believe the nerve of your parents. I'm doing this for Z, not them. I've hurt him more than I can bear to think about. And you think this is the answer? I don't know. But whatever I can do to help him through it. Denying your true feelings to save face in the so-called community is not the answer. Besides, if you are gay, then you are gay and that's the end of it. I don't know why I am anymore. Well, you'll look back on this deal one day and regret it. Right now, I don't care. I know you want the best for me, but we're too far down the line. A contract's been drawn up, and however grubby you find it, it's happening. <laughs> I still don't get why she didn't tell me. She didn't want anyone to know. I'm a dad, for God's sake. Well, perhaps because you've enough on your plate with your MS. Or that she didn't want to ruin your plans for Spain. Did she say that? Well, I'm just guessing. Did you know? No. We haven't just told anyone. Oh, that's something. I'm starting to think that Milburn and the paperboy were in on it, too. We'll get out. I'll walk you out. It's fine, you need some space for your family. Look, I did want to tell you. Really, I swear. Carl, I didn't want anyone to know. Yeah, well, now I understand why he's been so distant. I'm sorry about that. As long as it is all of that and we're okay. Yeah, we are. 
No worries. I'll just be looking at flats to rent. There's one about ten minutes away. Decent size, good price. I'm putting the deposit down. For us? Don't look so excited. <clears throat> Is this with your 30 pieces of silver? I don't know who disappoints me more. Rana for cheating, or you for doing deals with her parents to benefit from that. Don't look at me. I heard it from Leanne. She had no right. She's concerned about you. More concerned than you are about yourself, evidently. Well, this is none of your business. You certainly tried to keep it a secret from me. Ashamed by any chance? Well, I'm not the one who's been sleeping around. Well, you're the one cashing in on it. But you can say what you like. We're moving out on that start. Really? Rana? You're looking a, a little bit peaky. A touch of fresh air might do you good, perhaps. I'm sure. <laughs> So, tell me just what exactly has been going on. This can't have been easy for you. Especially with it being another woman. I could understand if I'd been beating her up and she'd gone off with another guy, but this? You felt able to talk with anyone else about it? Not really. You could try me. I'm no stranger to marital breakup. There's not much more to tell, except I'm totally gutted. And angry too, I expect. It's completely understandable. Yet, I wonder if what you're planning is a little hasty. Might it be an idea to hang fire on moving out, at least until the dust settles? You could move into the spare room. No one need know. Nice try, Gran. What? The sympathy act. To get me to stay, I almost fell for it. Very well. If you won't listen to reason, then you will listen to this. Stay here for the time being. The two of you. Treat each other with a bit of respect, and I will keep your secret. Move out and I won't. You wouldn't. Try me. 